Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. This is our first story of the day. I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. Elliot's not feeling very well. Mm. A recent study by a team of researchers at the <coughs> at the University of Cambridge has discovered why some people are totally cool with the flu, while others die a slow, painful death. Ugh, hang on. It's something, a uh, protein or something, I don't know. Okay, I'll take it from here, Elliot. Thank you. A protein called IFITM3 stops the flu virus from entering your cells. Unfortunately, for many human-type peoples, that protein is mutated. When that protein is deformed, it allows the flu virus to spread more quickly throughout the human body. The research study states, Recent in vitro studies showed that the interferon-inducible transmembrane protein family members potently restrict the replication of multiple pathogenic viruses. Both the magnitude and breadth of the IFITM protein's in vitro effects suggest that they are critical for intrinsic resistance to such viruses including influenza viruses. My eyeballs are sore. If I look at you like this, my eyeballs hurt. I, it hurts me to look at you like this. Why would you look at me like that? Because I'm too tired to turn my head. With the virus able to spread more rapidly, it can penetrate the lungs and replicate 10 times faster. This fast spreading virus can lead to pneumonia, the leading cause of flu death. Whoa, Joe, easy there, okay? I'm fine. My lungs feel awesome. I'm sure my IF whatever is doing just Fine, I'm keeping this crap contained. I'm like a pillar of health. I'm like a walking bottle of Purex, right? You're like a walking version of the movie Contagion. That movie is fantastic. I didn't see it, but I enjoy watching celebrities that make more money than me die slow, painful deaths, and we are not sitting next to each other later on. You just right by yourself. The study focused on patients admitted into the intensive care units in the UK due to the flu virus, and it found that these people were 17 times more likely to have the mutated protein. The good news here is that researchers might be able to develop a drug that mimics the IFITM3 protein, which would drastically reduce the severity of the influenza virus. Yay! But that's decades away. Oh. But it's still a great breakthrough. Yay! For your grandchildren. Um. Alright you guys, so Elliot's sick. We need some home remedies. Let us know what you got in the comments down below, and click the like and subscribe buttons. And click the sanitation bar, or as always, go to sourcefed.com to see our five daily stories, or anything we've ever covered. I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta.